Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Danny from Inglorious Fishing. Something a little bit different today. We're currently on the west coast of Guernsey and we're gonna be doing something called ormering, guys. Ormering is where we collect a shellfish. It's a sea snail which grows on the rocks. Now you're only allowed to grab them at a certain time of year. It's the first four months and I think it's the spring tides. So every two weeks, there's three days where you can go and collect these sea snails. Now it's a good old Guernsey tradition here to go and collect these sea snails. Uh, so I've taken the day off work for it, guys. That's what we do over here. We take days off work to go and do these Guernsey traditions, going to collect these shellfish. So I hope you're gonna enjoy it. I'm waiting for Smash Fishing and Sand. They should be on their way down soon. I apologize for any wind noise because it's raining, there's wind, and I've forgotten my foraging hook and the gauge. So I'm hoping that Smash is gonna have a spare one or something that I can use. We'll get down there and we'll give you a show of how we collect these sea snails. I hope you enjoy it, something different. Let's get to it. Here they are, guys. Better late than never. Sam tree is obviously uh, woken up late. They're here, let's go get these ormers. Oh, the boys are getting ready. Getting ready. Let's go get these ormers. Now I've forgotten my foraging hook, accidentally, as usual. Big mistake. Yeah, Smash has got his. Smash did make me one up, basically exactly the same as that guys. You can see he's got the gauges there, that's to measure the ormers and crabs and stuff like that. Then you just got the hook on the end just to get the ormers off. Well, guys, go watch yourselves on these rocks. Now like I said, I haven't brought my ormer gauge, the boys have got theirs. Got the underwater camera, just for some footage. But yeah, you want to be careful on these rocks, especially when it's been raining. Because uh, you don't want to be falling down and breaking your neck. As you can see, we're going to be going to these pools. Smash is in front. There's another gentleman already down here. There was. He's not in the pool no more. So we'll bring you back once we get to it. And hopefully we we'll get a few of these ormers. Feels, like Feels like we're back at home. Smash is there. We're getting to it. Let's just get to the main pool, eh? Then we'll work our way back up to these, I think. Oh, look. We'll have to remember those side pools, eh, Smash? Right, no. The side pool. Yeah, oh, is it? Yeah. So I've got my foraging bag, guys. I've got the GoPro 8, just for any underwater footage. I hope I can bring you some great content. I don't know what it's going to look like. You're on the head. So I'm chatting to you and I can't even see what we're looking at, but... Hopefully it's Mr. Smash Fishing and we're looking right in front of us. So guys, first one of the day there. Little one on that rock. I hope you can see it. That's what we're looking for. So, we'll keep searching around here and hopefully we can find one. All we're doing is flipping rocks. So guys, first ormer there. I think that one's going to be too small. I'll give Sam to get a bit of measure. It fell off the rock, that one. Small. A little bit under, yeah. Yeah, so that one's too small, guys. We're gonna get that one back under the rock. Back under it goes. We'll keep mooching. Oh, guys. I think that's gonna be a keeper. First one there. That's gonna be close. So we'll have to collect that one. Get that guy. Second over there, guys. I haven't got a gauge, so what we'll do is we'll just collect them and then we'll have to go up to smash and gauge them with him. Because I forgot to bring my foraging hook, as always. So another little warmer there. Let's keep foraging and see if we can get some more. Guys, right, check that out. Just seen that on the bottom of the rock there. Lovely, lovely little top knot. You can obviously see it's either pregnant or it's been eaten because see it's got a nice big belly there. So uh, yeah, we'll get that one back. It'll go straight back. But down he goes and we'll carry on flipping these rocks. I've got about three or four now. So I'm with Smash. We're just attempting to turn these big rocks. We need the big guns. There's another one there. I don't know if that's in. Maybe yeah, Smash that, can give it. In. That's in, yeah? Yeah. You know, that's another one there, guys. We're starting to come up with some now. Smash has certainly got uh, quite a few and he's got a beauty in there. Got a few. That's his bag of bombers there, guys. Fantastic. Nice. 
Another one there, guys. I don't know if that's him. Pretty collars on that one. Nice reds. Beautiful. Get that rock back. Keep foraging around here. What was that? It's the only thing I don't like about sticking my hands on there. The lobster grabs me. You got another? Yeah. Guys, check that out. Lovely orma there. Beautiful. Starting to collect a few now. They're conjuring off into the bag. So guys, just foraging here, another orma. What a beauty. That's nice. So, can I uh, just chuck us your hook? Cheers, mate. Pop that off the hook, and that is a lovely orma. You beauty. Cheers, mate. Teamwork. What about this thing? Oh! Is it? So oh, another little top knot there, beautiful little flat fish and we've got another baby orma just there. But nice to see, we'll let him get back. I'm going to take that small orma off guys, I'm going to put him under here just for when we drop the rock back because I don't want to damage it. Same as the flat fish, he's going to have to go as well because I don't want him getting damaged. So he's going to be a bit annoyed but off he goes. There we go. Even like that. She's back over. And there's another flat rock there we're going to turn. Another small orma under this rock, but it's too small, so that's going to go back. Right. This one, yeah, Sam? Yeah, I reckon. Right, honey, go. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, look at that. Look at the size of that. We've got two here, guys. We've got a small one here. Another little one there, that's so out. Is that one in? Star of City and on you. No, that's again. out. That's out. That one's definitely in. Beauty. Lovely job, cheers. Alright, let's get it back. Let's just check that rock on the line. Small uh awesome crab. Awesome crab. Alright, let's get it back. One, two, three. Out of here. Nice. So guys, we've moved to the next pool. Salmon smasher in there foraging. I'm going to start around this area in the low bits. And I'm going to start foraging all these rocks around here. So I'll bring you back if I get anything. Hopefully we'll get a few more ormers. We've got about 14 now, so it's good. Let's get them. Guys, check that out. Another big buster. I hadn't found any for a while, but that's a beauty, that. We found the honey hole. We found the honey hole again. Let's get them, Smash! I'll oh, buy your hook. Yeah. Just chuck it. Not Have you? Okay, mate. There you are. Right.
Oh, another one there. So we've got those two there, guys. Got another nice one there. And I'm going to go off and I'm going to try and get some more. And we'll put a stack there. There's a few in here. Berries, but they're not, eh? Yeah. It's like Guys, there's the Ormers. We had 21, I believe I've got 21 Ormers. So that ain't a bad session on the first time, guys, because it's rubbish tides, but we managed to get 21 Ormers. So I'm thoroughly happy with that. Smash has got a bag of 34, haven't you, or 32? 32 and a big old lobster. Giant lobster there as well. Check the size of that thing. A monster, eh? Look at that, guys. Big old, big head on it. Yeah, big old beast, big old male, that is. Nice. And a big foraging bag full of Ormers. Oh yeah. Great session. Let's right. head up to the van. To the next. Final walk back up the beach. I really enjoyed today being out with Smash. It was absolutely great. And sad. They can't get enough of the Ormers. Look at them guys. <laughs> He's got a bag of 35. He still needs more. Let's go. My oh guys, just arrived at my grand's house. Deliverer, her first year of Ormers. So my grand's gonna be happy because obviously she can't go and get them. So let's go and take them to her. Let's go. Well, we've just left grand's house. Unfortunately, grand's a bit camera shy, so she didn't want to go on camera. But we got another 12 Ormers in there. That's gonna be for the old man. Grand's had 10, so that's fantastic. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You're at Inglorious Fishing. We have a special guest today. We're with Mr. Smash Fishing. And that only means one thing. We're gonna go and hunt these local warmers. Let's go get them. Hi oh guys, we're on the forage. I forgot the wind slayer on my GoPro. I had to go back and get it. <laughs> Let's go get these warmers, baby. Woo! Oh, it's gonna be a cracking day. Let's go get these warmers, Mr. Smash. You are live on Inglorious Fishing. Live on Inglorious today. We're going Let's go get these sea snails! So guys, you can see where the seagulls are. That's a little sewage outlet. Got a little dead man here as well. It's all sorts. Bits of blocks. Don't know where that's come from. Oh, that's not block. Some sort of concrete thing. We're going to be heading over there, guys. And hopefully we can get a few of these abalone and sea snails like we did yesterday. Uh, I've joined the two videos up because there wasn't really much footage. So uh, yeah, we'll put the two days together and hopefully you're enjoying the ventures. The oyster there, clinging to the rock. Certainly not big enough. Jay will have him in a few years to come, that's for sure. All right, let's go. 
So, just came into this pool here, guys, where Smash is, and uh, lovely little warmer there. I don't think that's going to be in size. No, it's just under, about five millimeters. So we're going to put them under the rock, and we'll just check around here and put these rocks back. Keep them lifted for now. back put that one back you always want to put your rocks back oh, and on that one oh one two three here you go one one yeah, at least you got one I don't think that's going to be in size. Yeah, yeah sure. it's well in. Yeah. It's in, nice one. One keeper. A little more round. I'll flip that back now. Nice. There's one. Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three. Oh, at least we know we're in here. That's all there is, really. We're working through the pool. What's that there? Oh, it's just a rock. Have you tried all those little rocks? Sorry? Those. Not all of them, bro. Size of that, guys. And that's a pretty one as well. Nice. There you go, mate. Beautiful. No measuring that. Nope. That's a clunker. Really vibrant and clean. Smash is certainly finding them. Like Would... a bloodhound, Huh? Like a bloodhound. Yeah. Guys, oh, it's got uh Joe, what crab's that, mate? That's a Montecoot crab. That's a Montecoot crab. Or Pycross. Look at that. Beautiful purples on it. You got a lovely little brown crab there. We'll get them back. Oh shit, it's right. It's all right. There's a little hole here. I don't know if it's. Baby Orma there guys, got a little one there guys, he's under, got another like pie crust crab there, also seen a brown edible crab, just then, there you go, nice brown edible crab as well, we'll get them all back, and we'll go, alright let's find an Orma, we need one, let's get this one back. a small one there on the rock here definitely not big enough so we'll have a mooch around here seeing as there's that little one see if we can get any now oh guys just met up with smash and he's found a wonderful little bullet watch your back there bud yeah i've just got to get him off and then you go up there should be another one there i reckon yeah, yeah that's a keeper 
There's a couple more up there, guys. Certainly getting a couple. That's it. You got him. Oh, it's a bit deeper in here, though, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's a big rock. There's got to be one on there. Push it over. Oh, crap, <laughs> oh right, okay. No? No? Oh, jeez. Nice little brown edible crab there. Unfortunately, his shell's broken. It's a shame. It does happen. All we're doing is just cricking. Now, have a look. Just making our way down to the pools further down. Hopefully, we get a few down there. But first, we're just going to rummage through here and see if we can get anything. This is what we're dealing with. After these ormers, big rollers coming in. See little ones? There's little ones. Oh yeah, nice. The what? Well, that there. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. And it's in. Yeah. Nice. That's just in. Happy days. Hopefully, there's a load more. There's one, there should be more.
Oh, big giant! Got a big giant one here, guys. Look at the size of that one. That is an absolute beast. That is. Just gonna turn it over, make sure that there's no more. Oh, look at that, there's another one there. I don't know if that's gonna be in. Yeah, that's in. We've got two off of that rock. And there's another small one there. Just there. Get that one back. That's good. One of them's a stonker. Bag. Another two. Beautiful. I'm going to keep mooching through here. You'd think there'd be one under that rock. That thing's huge. I can't move that by myself.
want one more. <laughs> huh? What? Well, guys, we're on the walk back up to the van. I think I've got about eight almers, maybe. I've got one beauty in there. It's an absolute giant that I found on the rock in that pool. So, I think we're going to make another stop at Roos, where Smash's boat is. So, go and have another forage up there. So, next up, you see us be at the van. Start making our way there. So, we're at the new beach with Mr. Smash. Yep, we're going to go find them. Let's go get them. Hopefully. We ain't got long, guys. Let's go get them. Oh, I wonder if that big Orma's still there. I hope so. Well, guys, that was a total waste of time. It has been absolutely hammered. Jay's still over there searching. But yeah, someone's been here before us. All the rocks have been turned over. They haven't put the rocks back. So it's very obvious that someone's been here before us. There was a couple of places I had a couple of Ormas, but the rocks have already been turned. So we're not going to get those today. Start making our way to Smash and see if he's got anything. Well, guys, we're on the way up. Absolutely rubbish down there. It had been decimated. <laughs> yeah, the don't know who had been there, but they had turned every rock. I've got a bag of eight. Smash has got a bag of 11 there. So all's good, we've got to feed. Let's get back to that van and start warming off of it. All right, back of the van, getting these waders off. I took a dip, so I'm a little bit wet inside. Oh, get these overalls off. Smash is going to go home and cook his ormers. Soaked, and I'm going to go and take mine to the old man. Sounds good. All right. Are you cooking them for the old man? No. I'm not cooking them for the old man. Just a man. Just a man. So guys, I hope you enjoyed these two days on the ormering session with Smash Fishing. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I absolutely love ormering. It's great fun. So we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.